creating. It's a special way to let others in. Jonah Dillon has gravitated towards art expression for as long as he can remember. I feel like a lot of the time I'm inspired just by like things around me. His years of work are captured inside this portfolio, but his current specialty and we gotta get paint. is happening just outside his room. It was like a darker purple. This one? Sure. Jonah's medium wasn't always paint. I, I like that color combination. Drawing filled a space in his heart. I used to be able to draw and stuff with my hands most of my life until after high school. Like, now I can't use my arms as much as I used to be able to. I don't know, I just didn't really draw for a while. I didn't do anything artistic because I couldn't draw and I didn't know what to do. All right, Jonah, I'm going to show you. Art can provide a feeling of freedom. We can always get more. Freedoms that for Jonah dwindled over time. In my condition, it like progressively just gets worse and worse. Instead of focusing on what he didn't have, he thought about what he did, his artistic mind, and his motorized wheelchair. I kind of don't think I want to run over it again. I kind of okay. like it. About three years ago, I had just decided to try it. Like, me and my grandma went to, like, Hobby Lobby and bought, like, $12 worth of supplies, like tempera paint and, like, poster board. Jonah has muscular dystrophy, and through the help of friends, nurses, and of course, his wheels, his artistic freedom hasn't gone away. People seem to really like the paintings more when they know how they were created. <laughs> They're a lot cooler than I ever thought they would be. It's simply transformed over time. You shouldn't let things you can't control like prevent you from doing what you want. Hello? Anyone can create art even if they don't know how or need to find a new way. In Austin, Texas. It's all right if it's not perfect. I'm Jesse Cohen reporting.